across the country and around the world is moments away with an ABC News update on 89 WLS at WLSAM.com. 522. I know, Jerry Mather's birthday. The Beaver. And the best line was was the wife talking to the husband saying, Ward, you were very rough on the beaver last night. Nice beaver. Well, that's a, that's Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. That's a that's a whole other movie. <laughs> it's, that's uh, was that from Police Story? Was that what the, is that not Police Story? The, not uh, Naked Gun series. Yeah, yeah. Leslie Nielsen, who was a uh, good actor, serious actor. Then he became a comedian and did very well. Uh, Bob in Buffalo Grove. Good morning, sir. You're on 89 WLS. Good morning, Jake. I just wanted to check in, say hello, and uh, tell you I was downtown last night to see uh, President Obama. Were you at the fundraiser? Uh, No, but I was across the street. You ready for this? Indirectly. Um, My niece is getting uh, married today at the um, Cultural Center. Congratulations. And the rehearsal uh, for the wedding was supposed to be at the Cultural Center last night. But guess what happened? No way was it going to be at the Cultural Center. And moved us across the street uh, to uh, the Gallery 37. And uh, we had a bird's eye view of uh, the uh, caravan coming in. Of course, it was a little difficult to get to the um, uh, Gallery 37 uh, on uh, Randolph Street because they had the streets blocked off, security and all of that. Uh, But we did manage um, to see uh, the caravan uh, go by. I tried to get a good picture of him, but uh, as they were leaving the cultural center, uh, the the caravan and the SUVs, the presidential SUV that he used, uh, went zipping by so fast. Uh, the picture that I took uh, is totally um, totally blurred. But it was you know interesting to see you know all the um, security um, in front of the cultural center it was a unique sight to see on Michigan Avenue. When did they tell you that? You had to go do your rehearsal somewhere else. Um, How much notice did they give you? I can't remember when that actually surfaced. Um, But, um, you know, just the the security and all of that um, on Michigan Avenue, it was interesting to see how they protected the building. Um, There was just bumper-to-bumper garbage trucks to serve as a wall, I think. so that uh, anybody placing a bomb or somebody wanted to um, drive through um, could not get uh, access to the uh, cultural center. But it was really was weird to see all these garbage trucks lined up along Michigan Avenue, um, bumper to bumper. And in the, in the uh, fundraiser, there was a relatively cheap one. Yeah. It was like $2,500 a piece, and I think there were like 300 people. Yeah. I think it was only, uh, actually, it was, I think, only 1,000. Really? And then I also watched. watched All that for 1,000? Yeah, I think something like that. And then, you know, of course, I saw a few um, uh, protesters, uh, nothing really any significant. Um, but, uh, you know, there was a few crazies out there, a few people with Occupy Wall Street signs. There was a few people with. Um, um, you know, the uh, Polish protest, but nothing to, you know, nothing of any, um, you know, like I said, the, you know, significance that would, you know, be disruptive. Or well, you know what? I don't I don't blame the Polish people for being upset. Oh, that was a gem, wasn't it? Especially here in Chicago. To say that and then to come to Chicago and say that. I swear he has some he has some of the most inept people working for him. How could they possibly have said that? They you know they did that and I always tell the story back when, when the first big ceremony he had medal ceremony was Billie Jean King and they screwed that up yeah. cuz they got it right out of Wikipedia. And then the other one that surfaced of course yesterday I was you know listening to the radio and soon as the um, the job numbers broke and uh, when they said sixteen, what's it sixty? Was it sixty nine thousand? Sixty nine thousand, but they lost seven thousand jobs, so it was really seventy thousand in the private yeah. sector. When I heard that, I said, "How are they going to spin this?" 
I says, I know they're going to spin it, okay? But how are they going to spin it? Well, they did already. I saw it yeah. on the White House blog. Well, it was, it's, what, 23 straight months of job growth, right? Yeah, it was, it was Bush's fault. <laughs> I saw that in the White House blog, and then it was, well, you know, we could have saved five, we were saving five million jobs a month. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. And it's Europe's fault, because Greece is unhappy. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, uh, there's a stuff, there There was, um, you know, one sign, oh, I wish you could remember what it said. It said something about indict, Ob oh, yeah, it said it in, indict Obama drones, because, of course, we got the controversy over, um, Holder, and uh, oh, that was the interview I saw this week. That maybe you saw it on TV. They were interviewing various African uh, American congressmen, and they, uh, somebody put a microphone up to him. Says, "What do you have to say? And uh, do you know about Fast and Furious?" And the responses were, "Oh, isn't that a movie?" Yeah, I know. All right, thank you, Bob. Okay, have a great week. You too. Bye bye. bye now. Yeah, that whole Polish thing, uh, the, when he said the Polish death camps, it was the Nazi death camps in, in German, you know, occupied Poland. He, the White House first kind of just brushed it off, and yesterday it was reported the president sent a letter to the Polish prime minister and offering his regrets. But there's a backstory to all this. You know who they wanted to receive the medal of, of the of the... It was, it was the World War II resistance fighter, the Polish resistance fighter, who was who was honored with the medal. But you know who they wanted to physically accept it at the White House? And, and the Obama people said no, Lech Wałęsa. Because he was too politically controversial. Here's a guy, high school education, was an electrician in Poland, fighting the communists, the Soviet Union, when the Soviet Union was in its power. And he helped turn Poland free and he, he was the perfect guy to have at the White House and the White House didn't want him. Too controversial. Okay. Just stick it to the Polish people. You know, last week we were talking about uh, the former mayor of Washington, D.C., Marion Barry, with his slur about Polacks, quote unquote. And then, the, and then the Polish people get it from the president this week. Eh, it's a good week for Polish people. Anyway, more to come. It's 529 Back after this on 89 WLS.